So what's up everybody? <laughs> it's been a long time since I've made a video, but I am still here, I'm still around. I was just eating some pumpkin seeds right here. Um, so yeah, everything has actually been quite good. Been eating healthy. I won't lie though, I did have some food that I probably shouldn't have had. But hey, you know, I'm human. We all make mistakes sometimes. But seriously guys, I'm happy to be making a video today. Um, I know it's been a while. I don't know, probably some of you have missed me. Maybe some of you haven't. Maybe you're like, oh, I'm so happy that he's gone. Now that he should just shut up and not talk about anything. And, uh, because everything that he says is completely fake and doesn't work. And, yeah. Well, I'm here to tell you that I'm back. And I'm not going away. At least, <laughs> not on my own free will. Um, they're going to have to shut me down before I ever leave. But, guys, have you seen the complete and utter nonsense on the news? Have you seen the, the amount of hatred directed towards the President of the United States of America? President Donald Trump. He's, like, you know, this amazing uh, guy, right, who is trying to do really, really great things for the country when you actually look at what he says and what he does. And then you have the mainstream media. They're all like, we hate you, you terrible person. Why did you do this? Why did you do that? And they construe up all of these things. And, and you know, it's just getting to the point where... He, they're like demonizing him like he's the, the the great devil that's coming out of the earth which is insane it's very very insane <sighs> all you have to do <laughs> all you have to do in 2018 on this 28th day of August is just go to Donald Trump's Twitter account or Donald Trump's um, Facebook or YouTube White House channel and look. Look at what he actually says. Look at the things that he actually signs into law. Watch his rallies. Stop tuning in to just one um, network or station or what have you but get your information directly from the source get your information directly from the source if people could just look at the source okay and then use your mind and think about you know what he's doing what he's saying um, you know and then make a judgment based on that that is a lot better than listening to someone else speak, you know, on behalf for him when most of them are against him. Anyway, so it's a bias. It's, it's completely biased, right? If, <laughs> think of it. If, say somebody was against me, right? Somebody, somebody was against me and what I had to say about, you know, hair loss. Um... And they were going to report on what I said in a video. So they made another video talking about what I had said. Do you honestly think that they're going to report what I actually said accurately? Because they already dislike me. They already don't agree with me. So they're going to basically try to make me out to, to be the bad guy. Right? It's biased. It's complete and utter bias. It isn't actually true uh, reporting. It's putting a spin on it. It's disinformation. It, it's, it's just nonsense. It's completely and utter nonsense. When the president says that he wants to have strong safety and security for our country and have strong borders, you know, he wants to build a wall, that's a good thing. That is a good thing. Why is that such a bad thing? Why is that such a bad thing? He isn't saying that he doesn't want people to come here. 
Actually, he says he wants lots of people to come here. He loves all people from all around the world. He just wants good people that will come into the country legally, that will obey our laws, go through the right process of becoming a, a resident, a legal resident, or if they want to become a legal citizen. He isn't for saying, oh, we don't want anyone to come into the country because we hate them all. No, he's never said stuff like that. That's not what he does. And that's not what he says. He's just trying to make our country safer because a lot of drugs come into the country from Mexico and other places. Lots of bad people cross over into the country at the U.S. and Mexican border because there's no, there's literally nothing there stopping people from just walking over into the country, right? And a lot of these people are dangerous criminals that Mexico maybe don't want in their country. So, hey, if they walk over into our country, that's one less problem that Mexico has to deal with. So, of course, Mexico doesn't probably make a big deal about it. And, of course, Mexico doesn't care about, you know, building a wall or any of that because, hey... Now that they're in our country, it's more or less now become our problem. You see, when actually Mexico should actually care about their neighbor, the United States, and maybe want to help increase the border security as well. And that's what Donald Trump wants to do. He wants to have a strong border so we can stop this kind of nonsense from happening. I mean, where is the mainstream media when lots of these moms and dads lose their kids to illegal people that come over and shoot them down. They don't get reported. Their stories don't get heard. Donald Trump had to bring these victims on and have them share their story. I mean, it literally made me cry. It really did. It made me tear up and cry because, wow, like these are people that have lost their kids to illegal immigrants, and Donald Trump just has a really big heart that wants to care and help these people and help prevent this kind of tragedy from happening ever again. It shouldn't be happening, right? It's this stuff's just common sense. It's just common sense. This kind of stuff shouldn't be happening. And yet, for whatever reason, because, you know, they don't want a strong America. We want globalism. We want to you know, rule the world. We want to be the elites. And we want to control everybody. I mean, it's honestly true like just look at the kind of stuff that they say if if you listen to the democrats they will say that we want open borders they want to abolish border security like ice okay those are the people that work down on the border to try to keep our country safe from allowing drugs and bad people into the country that could do us harm yeah they want to get rid of these people hello <laughs> like really this is just stupid 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 oh you know, we've had walls for, what, thousands and thousands of years throughout human civilization. People and civilizations have built walls to protect their land and their people. This is nothing new, and it actually does work. I mean, there's a reason why everybody has a door, right, on their house, or a door on their car, or a door, you know, at, at uh, a store with locks, with security, with cameras, you know, because we don't just want people to come in that we don't know that will harm us or steal our things. <laughs> it's the same thing with the country, folks. This is your homeland. If you live in America, this is your homeland. Don't you think it'd be a good idea to keep your homeland safe just like you want to keep your family safe? If you don't want to keep your family safe, then obviously there's something probably not right with you. So, for what it's worth, stop listening to all these haters. Haters, haters, haters. Hate, 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 hate. Negative, neg negativity, negativity, negativity. You've got to be more positive. You've got to start listening and looking at things at the source of the information. And then, talk to other people. Evaluate. Observe. You know, that's something that a lot of people don't do today, is they don't observe. They don't critically think about these kinds of things. They just want to go along with Hollywood, mainstream media, celebrities. Folks, these are humans, too. Do you honestly think that they really have your best interests at heart? What's their record? You know? Have they, uh, 
decided to serve in the best interests of the people and of the country? Or did they rather just desire to get in there for their own greed and personal fame and power? Well, they talked a good game, but did absolutely nothing. <laughs> Which is the way it's pretty much been for, like, ever. Right? Hey, when the tax cut happened, the greatest tax cut in the history of our country, as far as I'm aware, that Donald Trump accomplished, along with his party, I got more money in my paycheck. I got a bonus. And a lot of other people did, too. So that's a good thing. That's something to celebrate about. But guess what? The Democrats don't want to be celebrating about that. No! They think it's bad! They want to raise my taxes! They want to take away more money from me! Why on earth would I ever support a party like that? I could go on and on and on about this stuff. But honestly, I think I've said enough. <laughs> so, I just gotta calm down. Calm down, Sam. And, <clears throat> hopefully, more people will come to their senses. Because... I don't know if it's the food, people gotta, like, change the frequency that they're tuned into with the mainstream media. Just turn that thing off. It's just a bunch of negativity, guys. There's rarely any other good information that's on there, actually. The only good one that has some good information is Fox. At least they report honestly and fairly and don't treat them with such disrespect and disdain. And then, of course, you have the other, um news outlets on the internet but even those are being shut down and censored now because of the big tech giants yeah which i'll make a video about too i want to make a video about that one but anyways guys you know i probably voted for donald trump i am really happy with the stuff that he's done for our country with what he's continuing to do for our country um i pray for him for his safety and i encourage all my viewers to do the same you know Really think about what I said in this video. And, you know, instead of hating, try loving for a change. Because loving is so much better. And it'll make your life a whole lot better, too. So, yeah. Hope you guys are all well. And with that, take care.